Hello my beautiful viewers on my channel James Higgins Open World What this is, is uh, as you can see from the intro Rest in Peace Doctor Who uh, the TV series Because as far as I'm concerned I am done with it I'm done with it Woke uh, and transgender stuff uh, And making Doctor Who a woman With Jodie Whittaker's Doctor Has just ruined it for me absolutely ruined it and i was never a massive doctor who fan uh, before they relaunched it with uh, christopher eccleston as a doctor for one season the old doctor who uh it was the animation and all the rest of it with the old doctor who was just boxy sets that moved in the wind and all the rest of it it was, just wasn't for me you know what i mean I mean, my first Doctor was, that I saw when I was a kid, I'm 55, 56 next year, was Pertwee. He was, I think he was the third Doctor. But it's just been totally ruined, you know, with, what have you. And what gets me, wait, let's listen to this, right? The character of Doctor Who, right? He can travel forward, back in time. He's, he's even gone into parallel universes, the Doctor, right? So why is it? This just proves a point about pronouns, this what I'm about to say, right? The last Christmas special, the 60th, that's just been on, right? Right? That was the first time, to my knowledge, that pronouns were used as in, like, when I say pronouns, I'm all about this she, him, him, her bollocks that they keep going on about, you know, and fit, like Sam Smith on the one show said, fish of them. Fish of them. It's... You know, and what have you. Some people say, oh, what arm's it doing? And all the rest of it. Well, it's what it is, is, is I mean, they're, they're all about putting people in prison for misgendering people, you know, in, in, in the future. They're just talking about it, aren't they? And teachers have, have been, have been a, a, I saw a doctor who, uh, strange saying that, but it's true. He was this doctor I saw. For you know, 35 years experience as a doctor and this uh, biological man came came in who identifies as a woman with a beard the the, the doctor who's a who's a, a a religious person wouldn't say she on religious grounds and he got the sack this is how it affects people and there's been other people getting wrapped up in his woke and transgender nonsense who have been sacked and losing their jobs you know, there. So now they've got bio regeneration for the doctor. So basically, what happened is in this the last the 60th anniversary episode three, the doctor split in two. You had David Tennant's doctor, and then the new uh, black doctor. I can't pronounce his name properly. Into, into two people, and then he got this big hammer, hit the TARDIS, and that split into two as well. Right, and apparently now, because of this bio regeneration, it aff some people say it affects all the other doctors. So the universe is full of doctors who were uh, regenerated. <coughs> so they're, they're all split in two. You know, uh, so they're all out there. And the simple fact is, if they were all out there, they'd be bumping into each other all the bloody time, wouldn't they? You know what I mean? And what have you. And like I said with the pronouns, uh, Donna Noble's uh, transgender girl or boy or whatever it was, uh, uh, I'll him about pronouns of this creature. You know. Well, if, if the Doctor, he can move in time and space, and he's been out in the future, to the past, why is this the first time ever, to my knowledge, and let me know in the comments, a pronoun's been mentioned in Doctor Who, and yet he can travel in time? I know it's just a character and it's just fantasy, but you know, you hear what I'm saying, don't you? So it just proves that this pronoun stuff is just something that's been invented, this she, him, him, her stuff I'm on about, in the last five years, a load of bollocks, to be perfectly honest with you. So now, I reckon what will happen with the Doctor, 
because we've changed that biology regeneration. The doctor's split in two, right? I reckon what will happen with the doctor now, with every new regeneration, he won't only change his... Because uh, they're saying he's gay now. And he, can anybody who watches this, who's watched Doctor Who, can never say... He never came across... The character of the Doctor never came across as gay to me, ever. Ever. And now they're saying he's gay. So you know what they'll do, won't you? With every new regeneration, they will say that his sexuality changes as well. So you'll have a non-binary doctor, uh, a transgender doctor, gender fluid doctor, all these other hundred genders, whatever they bloody are. They'll, they'll have all, you know, they're trying to please everybody like politicians are. You know, and what have you. So, what, so basically the doctors must be schizophrenic or something. I haven't got a clue who he is. Every regeneration, it, it can be non-binary. This, this is what they'll do. Even bloody Davros, who was a Dalek, the leader of the Daleks. They've had him walking about. The, 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 the writer, whatever his name is, right, saying, no, no, we, no it's, we can't do that. We can't have him in a wheelchair. He's saying that people in wheelchairs are evil. He never said that at all. It's a bloody Dalek, for fuck's sake. So, yeah... You're at the, I'm at the situation where, right, I have de decided to walk away from Doctor Who because it's only going to get worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. It is, the, the whole thing. So I have decided this is the last video I will do on it, on, on Doctor Who, because I'm done with it. Done with it. Absolutely done with it. Uh, it's a, gone idiotic, stupid. I was really looking forward to seeing David Tennant as the Doctor again. But that got ruined. Now they're saying he's gay. The Doctor was never gay. Ever. Load of bollocks. You know. The only way, in my opinion, this is what I reckon, right? The only way to save Doctor Who is to someone to buy the franchise, right? If I own Doctor Who, I'll tell you exactly what I'd do, right? If I own Doctor Who, I would, I would rehire... Uh, one second. Peter Capaldi to play his doctor, right? And I would reset it, but basically, he would wake up. Peter Capaldi's doctor would wake up and realise that uh, a monster had had him in, a, in, in, in a, a dream for years on end. And so, basically, that wipes out the, t the timeless child. It wipes out Jodie Whittaker's doctor. Uh, as well, so uh, so we basically get, uh, we get back to William Hartnell being the first Doctor, and the Doctor being male, uh, a male Doctor, which is, which is what he should always be. And I don't care if they have a male Doctor, if the Doctor is black, Indian, as long as he's male. And I don't, if you want a female Doctor, they should create a new character. A female Time Lord. Not the Doctor, a totally female Time Lord with her own TARDIS. But that'll never happen. So, you, you, if you're a fan of the Doctor, you, you can go along with what's, what will happen. It'll just get worse and worse. Or you can cut your losses and just remember the good times with the old Doctors. Which is what I'm going to do. I'm done with it. Rest in peace, Doctor Who. Thanks for the memories. See you on the next one.